100 grounding electrode. This is a, a nice simple one. It's a conducting object that's used to directly connect to the earth. Okay, so a grounding electrode, uh, there's a list of them in section 250.52a, uh, items 1 through 8, and it includes things like ground rods. You know, that might be the one that pops to your mind uh, most quickly. Underground metal water pipes. Here in the photograph, we have what we call a concrete encased electrode or a Eufer ground named after uh, Herbert Eufer, who was the first person to really test and, and document its effectiveness as an electrode. Uh, ground rings. We can drive pipes in the ground. If, if you don't have a ground rod, you can just drive a piece of rigid metal conduit or IMC. Uh, that's, that's also mentioned in uh, 250.52, uh, I think it's A6. We have uh, plates that we can use, so a grounding plate. If you've never seen one, uh, go to Canada or sometimes in the north uh, of the United States, like in Minnesota, Wisconsin area, they use grounding plates. Uh, and then you can also use things like well casings, which are defined, uh, discussed in 250.52. A8. So here in the photograph is a concrete encased electrode and there's two different types of concrete encased electrodes. We have the wire type which of course is a wire or we have the rebar itself. Uh, the rebar itself has to be at least half inch in diameter which is number four rebar and it has to be at least 20 feet long but not necessarily in one piece. Five four foot lengths of rebar tied together is still good enough. Uh, if you're using a conductor type, a wire type, you need a number four or larger conductor, and it also needs to be 20 feet in length. And then there's some criteria about the, the concrete being uh, in contact with the earth and some other requirements as well. But the definition of a grounding electrode is, is pretty simple. It's a conducting object that's used to directly connect to the earth. We connect our systems to the earth and we connect our metal parts to the earth. And we do that by connecting to a grounding electrode. Now, what type of wire do we use to connect to the grounding electrode? Well, the grounding electrode conductor, obviously. Uh, that's a conductor that connects the system's grounded conductor or equipment to a grounding electrode. All right, so the underground portion, and, and this is, this is a little bit important. In this photograph, you cannot see a grounding electrode. The grounding electrode is in the dirt. Once it's out of the dirt, it's not a grounding electrode because it's not in the ground, <laughs> right? So the water pipe has to be in the dirt. However, in 250.68c, we recognize that actually connecting to a water pipe in the dirt would be pretty difficult. So it allows you to connect to the above ground portion within five feet of where it enters the building or where it emerges from the grade, which makes sense. You don't want to do it in the middle of the building because we don't trust plumbers and we shouldn't because plumbers, they might cut this thing out and turn it into plastic. And if that's the case, well, then we're going to have a problem. So we need to connect to it within five feet of where it enters the building. So that's our grounding electrode and our grounding electrode conductor. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.